everyone. Thanks for joining us today. We are going to have Kia Stokes. We're going to have Amanda Zowie B. And we're going to have Joyner Holmes as well. For the sake of time, um, so folks may uh, join us here, but let's go ahead and get started. If you have a question, if you could please raise your hand, I will call on you, unmute yourselves, um, and please be sure to state your publication as well. Thanks, y'all. We'll get started with uh, Jeff Magliocetti. Hi, thank you for joining us. Jeff Magliocetti with Nets Republic, Empire Sports Media, and W Insider. Uh, Walt disagreed with this assessment, but you could be seen as a bit of a seventh rookie on the team, considering you weren't there last year and there's an entirely new system, almost an entirely new team. How are you coping with that so far, and what are your thoughts on it? Um, I mean, I consider myself a rookie um, just based on playing against, you know, the best players in the world, so I'm kind of used to that. I won't get shocked by the intensity of the game. Uh, but he's right about the new staff not being there last season. Um, but, you know, I'm just learning um, how he coaches, how the new staff coaches, just like everyone else, even, you know, Zowie and Leisha um, and Kia Nurse. So we're kind of all new in that sense. But, you know, you know, I still have my four years previous. You know, I know what the competition is like. <laughs> I know it's not easy. And um, we have a, a lot of good things going, but we still need to get better. No, of course. I think the stat sheet says you've been proves you've been here for a while. Too, so uh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yep. Next, we'll go with James Clark. Hi, Kia. I really have two questions. Um, uh, Jim Clark from Women's Hoops World. Uh, first, to what extent are you taking a leadership role, and how does that uh, how is that reflected? How do you do? What's your style? Um, you know, I'm not the most vocal person on the court, so I'm trying to make an effort to be more vocal, be someone who you know takes a step back to see the game and try to you know, direct younger players. I, like I said, I'm not the most, you know, vocal. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be the one calling team huddles. I'm like, come on guys, we got to get it together. I'm more like, hey, on that play, you know, make sure you box out. Um, so that's kind of my role. It's something I'm not used to doing uh, because I've always been one of the younger players on the team. But now with six rookies <laughs> on the team, it's going to be a lot harder, but I'm looking forward to the, to the opportunity, to the role. And it'll definitely help expand my game too. Um, just knowing that, you know, we have to step up everyone on the team from the rookies to laser, our oldest player. Like we all need to take it a step further um, because we're going to need it this season for sure. Okay. And the second question has to do with offense. Uh, throughout your UConn career, you shot a very high percentage, but a very low number of shots. Um, yes. You can't afford to do that on this team. Uh, Cause as you say, you're the one who's played at this level uh, and these guys may have a lot of trouble scoring. Certainly last year's team did, but there's not much of that left. So how how are you going to do that? Have you been working on it? Has the, have the coaches been pushing you to do that? Um, they definitely have been pushing me to do that. Um, anytime I practice, if I pass up a shot, go oh, shoot it. You know, I feel like every player, you know, dreams to hear that. You know, they want you to shoot the ball more. Um, I have been very selective with my shots in the past, which is why I was so efficient. But, you know, I'm trying to get into that mindset that everyone is going to miss shots. You know, nobody's going to have a perfect game. Um, and just get comfortable doing it, and then it'll be more a habit, more natural. Um, and then I think our whole team will be more successful uh, once I get into the habit. So it's been going pretty well in practice. You know, I'm excited once games start. Thanks. Yep, thank you. Jackie Powell. Hey, Kia. I wanted to ask you a little bit about this coaching staff and how they are possibly different from any other that you've worked with and how they've maybe created a precedent for mental wellness. Um, I'm sorry, I just ate. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Um, I, had, I did not know what to expect uh, when we found out the whole coaching staff changes, but I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I think Walt is an amazing guy. He understands the game. He tries to break it down. He's very positive. I'm not saying that my past coaches weren't positive, but I just feel like it's just different. And I think, um, you know, after we started going on the decline the past couple of years, I think it was nice to just get a change of scenery, fresh, you know, everyone's coming in, positive energy. Um, I think that helped a lot. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, very, very positive. He's like, I don't care if you make a mistake, just go hard. I don't care if you dribble off your foot, just make sure you're going hard so that when you get practice, keep practicing, you're going to get better, you're going to get more used to it. And then in a the game, you know, it'll be, you know, so in rhythm, you know, it won't even be an issue. Um, but yeah, like I said, so far it's been amazing. Um, I have high hopes. He's very, very supportive of us. And I think that's kind of what we need, especially with so many rookies. Uh, we don't, we need their confidence to stay up because this league is so, so tough. We can't have, you know, six people getting down on themselves. That's over half our team. 
Um, so I think it's it's a great it's a great start so far. Like I said, I can't wait till game start and then we can, you know, put it in action. Thank you, Kia. That was great. We have a few new uh, folks who joined us here today. If you could please raise your hands if you have questions um, using the virtual tool, that would be great. Next, we'll have Christina Williams. Hey, Kia, it's Christina Williams from Girls Talk Sports TV. Um, what advantages do you see um, with having six rookies of team start up ahead of the season? Um, I, one of the advantages, at least I know for my rookie year, um, I was super energetic. You know, I guess we did just come from college season, so we were in that college shape, which is a whole nother level. Um, I don't know how it'll be with the quarantine, but I know, you know, fresh young legs. I think we can try to outlast people. I think we can definitely use that to our advantage. And there's, we have so many young players, even like the vets, like me and Zowie and Nurse, like are we really vets? Um, but we all want to learn and get better. And I think we're very unselfish. Um, as people and I think we just want to play together and learn together and grow together as a team and I think we can definitely use that to our advantage we don't have you know too many egos on the team I think everyone really just is bought into what Walt says and I think that's kind of going to give us you know more of an advantage because we all want to be successful and we want to do it together. Sarah Balance with Hey Kia, Sarah Valenzuela from the New York Daily News. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Ah, hot. <laughs> um, uh, so I, I just wanted to know, um, how are you feeling going up against your fellow UConn legends, Sue Bird and Brianna Stewart, and her return this Saturday? Uh, I mean, I'm excited. Um, I'm excited to play against other people uh, besides my own teammates. That's always a plus. We don't have practice players to go against here, but you know, that's the standard. You know, they're one of the best teams in the league and it's a challenge for us and we need it. And we're just going to play hard, do what we can do. And, you know, hopefully we can surprise some people on the way. Um, I think once we get into a flow, we can be really, really good. Like I said, it's going to be tough. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, um, but it's the first step to the season and we just want to come out, you know, make a statement, set the tone. And then, you know, whatever happens, we still want to improve um, every game, you know. So hopefully we just go on this steady incline and um, surprise the people along the way. Is there any one of the rookies who you have uh, become closer with in the last uh, few weeks of training camp? Um, our rookies are amazing, first of all. Like, I didn't know what to expect, but they're so great. Um, off the court, they're all great people. On the court, I mean, Sabrina's obviously a great player. She surprised me. She's, like, so competitive. I know everyone says that, but it's different, like, once you're actually there. Um, so she did. And Jocelyn is amazing, like one of the hardest workers I've ever seen. Like those two just came in. Um, and the rest of them, I mean, they're all working really, really hard, but just, you know, off the top, those two definitely surprised me. And um, I'm definitely looking forward. I'm looking forward to you guys seeing uh, what they can do on the court in this league. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Lastly, we'll have Zachary Diamond. Hi, Kia. My name is Zach Diamond. I'm from the blog Sportsman Venus. I was wondering, as a veteran, what has it been like playing for a team with seven rookies that is also the best team in the league? Um, it's been it's been tough. Uh, it's definitely there's some days where we, you could tell we're young. You know, people stop talking or you know just some confusion. Um, but it's fun. Like I said, we have young people that want to work hard, that want to you know they want to play. They have that excitement. Um, which is exciting because it kind of makes us feel young again. Like I said, we're not old, uh, but sometimes, you know, our bodies feel old and we're like, oh man, practice. And then you have the rookies coming in. They're like, yeah, practice. You're like, you know what? Yeah, practice. Um, so they just have that positive um, energy, that spirit. It just kind of keeps you fresh. And, um, you know, like I said, they have the hunger, they have the want, and they have so much energy. So I think we can use that to our advantage for sure. But it's it's been fun so far. I just can't wait till the game start, you know, like a couple more days and then, it's game, 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 game. So, uh, you know, we're enjoying it while we can right now and trying to get better as good as we can and get better every day until the game starts. Thank you, Kia. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you. Thanks so much, Kia, for Sarah Valenzuela. Hey, Sarah Valenzuela from the New York Daily News. Pleasure to see you again. Hey. Um, so now coming so much closer to uh, opening tip-off, What's really that feeling building up inside you? Do you feel ready? Are you more anxious? What's really going through your head? Um, I'm more so excited just to get started. Um, 
think we have taken some big steps towards the right direction. So I'm just excited to be out there and finally bust some ass. <laughs> um, last question. Um, you've been super tuned in and plugged in with trying to uh, push the push uh, your various social justice messages and, and um, <clears throat> advocating for, for black lives. What do you want, what do you expect to do when you get on the court? Are you, like, are you, do you plan to like make a definitive like statement when you get on the court? Um, are you going to kneel for anything? Or like, what, what do you plan to do when you first get on the court, if you plan to do anything? Uh, well, if they decide to play the national anthem, I'm sitting down. Or go into the locker room. Uh, that's usually the time where I pray. So I feel like with everything that I've learned throughout this time, it doesn't sit right with me to stand there. Um, so yeah. Thank you so much. Jackie Pat. Hey Amanda. Um, hey. On a light note, <clears throat> I wanted to first know what should I expect from this new reality show premiering tonight with uh, Kia and Kia? Um, a lot of laughter, definitely. <laughs> um, special moments, I put it like that, because I tweeted that before. We're a special group. It's just so much fun. Like, we be dying laughing at each other. And Nurse have done an amazing job of putting all the clips and videos together. Like, she actually legit. So it's going to be so much fun. And you guys are actually going to get to know us on, like, I wouldn't say deeper level, but, like, kind of how we really are, if that makes sense. I like it. I dig it. <laughs> and to follow up, I want to know if you could talk a little bit about this coaching staff and how they're different from a staff that you've worked with and how really have they created a precedent for mental wellness? Oh, I mean – Mental wellness, we talked about that before we even got, well, before I even got back to the U.S. You know, we had Zoom calls. We actually talked about how we felt and the, port, the importance of being good mentally. You know, uh, we are so much more than just athletes. So they are pushing for that, and they are very positive on and off the court. Um, and they're just pushing that we all should feel well, you know, and be confident in everything that we do. And they checking on us. You know, if someone seems to have low energy or whatever, they send out a text message making sure that we are good. Um, and they are really there for us to talk to them, like if we need it. Great. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to the premiere tonight. Oh, yes. Six o'clock. <laughs> Jeff Magliocetti. Hi, Amanda. Great to talk to you again. Jeff Magliocetti with Mets Republic, Windsider, and Empire Sports Media. Do you is there any additional pressure on you guys, you think, go, being the first game on Saturday, going up against the CL Storm, especially with both Stewie and Bird returning? No. The, all the pressure that's being put on us is from ourselves. Like I said, people keep ranking us 12. Uh, people think we're going to lose everything. So really the pressure is just our goals. And we know what they are, and we know that we are going to go out and win and have fun. Um, so that's the mentality that we're going into each game with. You mentioned that you want to play, quote, fearless basketball this year and how you want this team to be remembered back. Have you gotten that sense as we've gotten closer to opening tip? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's so much fun uh, watching the team practice and going at it. Um, no one's scared. No one feels like it's scary to uh, go against Seattle. You know, like, we're not thinking that way. We're literally just going out there and we're going, hoop. And you can see that with the attitude that we have. Thank you, Matt. Good luck. Thank you. James Clark. Hi, Amanda. Uh, Jim Clark from Women's Hoops World. Um, I want to go back. You were kind of asked this question the other day, but, but I would like you to expand a little bit more on what you, as one of the baby vets, is doing um what are you doing in terms of leadership both in practice and in game-like situations to help these rookies deal with it yeah um i think the biggest thing that i'm doing and 
Um, I've always been a vocal player, but I'm being even more vocal now, uh, trying to help everyone out and just have people feel my presence. Um, and I'm also listening to what people have to say. You know, I'm letting Nurse lead other uh, way, Sabrina and Stokey and everyone. So I'm just trying to be myself. Like I said before, I'm not trying to be someone that I'm not only because I don't know how to do that, but also just because I have this bet next to my name now, um, I shouldn't change who I am. I'm just going to keep being me. Okay. And, and are you working with them on that whole mental health aspect you talked about before? Yeah, I'm very open with what I go through and who I talk to uh, as far as therapy. And I try to be as transparent as possible. Because um, I know sometimes, especially as a young player, a young human, you don't really know what to say or how to say that you're not feeling well or, you know. So just being that outlet and letting people know that it's okay not to feel well all the time. So we got to work on it. We got to normalize that feeling not great mentally. It's things that happen. It's, it's not normal. It's the nature of human life. Thanks. Lastly, we'll have Chantel Jennings. Hey, thanks so much for your time today. Chantel Jennings with The Athletic. Um, in the last several years, we've seen bigs take more and more three-point attempts in the WNBA. Uh, I think you're an example of that, 130 <laughs> attempts over the last two seasons. I was just curious what it does for your game individually, but also the game, basketball as a whole, the WNBA, to have players that maybe traditionally would just play with their back to the basket sort of step out and be a threat from range. Yeah, I mean, the game is faster. It, it gets faster every year. And it just draws so much attention that it opens up for other players, you know, being able to step out and be a threat there, but also on the inside, it's just, it completes a player, right? So. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much, Dali. Um, right. Next up, everybody, we're going to have Joyner Holmes. Um, just yes, okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, just a reminder to raise your hands, please, if you have questions. We'll go ahead and get started with Jackie Powell. Hey, Joyner. How's it going? Oh, someone's in the background. <laughs> um, I just wanted to know, um, what did you learn from the scrimmage that uh, took place between the Mystics on Monday? And how did that go for you? Um, the scrimmage went well for us. Um, I enjoyed it. I was, a, I think we all, as rookies, were a little nervous going into it because it's our first like game against other pros. But um, as far as um, what I can see, it went really well. Um, as far as what I learned, I think it's just everything was like a welcome call to the W. Like, I mean, setting screens was kind of hard, getting rebounds was hard, guarding people was a little bit difficult. So just trying to adjust as much as possible. But um, I mean, basketball is simple. It's still the same principles and stuff, but we're just playing against different people now. So. Right. Thanks. Sarah Valenzuela. Hey again, Sarah with the New York Daily News. How are you? Good, and you? It's hot. <laughs> um, so, uh, Kian Nurse just said yesterday uh, that uh, the, the core group of rookies, you guys um, have this fearless nature about you guys. So I wanted to know, going into that first game on Saturday, do you feel ready and are you ready to be as fearless as, as some of the veterans have said you guys are? Um, I agree. You know, I think we're just here. Like, we've been – there were kind of the chosen ones from New York Liberty, but I think um, just we just really do have a fearless nature and kind of going into it just really confident. You know, we're all here for a specific reason. And so kind of trying to help them out as much as we possibly can. But I think Saturday it'll be a lot of nerves for all of us. But once the game gets going, I think it'll just wash out a little bit. But I'm really excited, and um, I'm glad to know that she thinks that about us. So, yeah. But we got to continue bringing it each and every day and just be consistent. Last question. Um, Coach Hopkins said uh, that he's been trying to lead by example in terms of how to handle criticism from the media. So far, everything's been positive about you guys because we, we haven't really seen you guys hit the floor. Um, have you been prepped on 
that kind of pressure, that kind of like any criticism if you guys don't live up to the expectations or up to the hype? Like, how, how, what is your mindset in terms of tackling any kind of criticism? Um, you know, like I said, I think we're here all for a reason. Um, as far as the media goes, I don't really take in tune to it a lot, but I know um, going into the season, I know we're kind of ranked at the bottom and just everything has been pretty negative towards us right now. But, I mean, it kind of gives us no expectation, really. So it's just, like, in my mind, I think it's just a time for it, us to shock a lot of people. You know, we really have no true expectations, and a lot of people think we're going to fail. And so, I mean, going into that and just having the mindset that we, the rookies and the vets have had on this team so far, I think will be perfectly fine. So I don't think there'll be much criticism coming our way. Thank you so much. James Clark. Hi, um, Jim Clark from uh, Women's Hoops World. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about your slightly different um, way into the Liberty? You were drafted by Seattle, they cut you, First of all, I don't know how long it took before the Liberty were in touch, but tell us a little about the emotional steps from finishing college, getting drafted, getting cut, now being on this team. Um, well, for college, for me, I mean, not a lot of these girls um, here that are rookies actually, I guess, kind of had the same route. For me, I didn't have a conference tournament, and so it was just like everything was just abruptly canceled. And so some of uh, the girls here that actually had a conference tournament. So my last game was my senior night, which is like kind of a blessing in disguise. But, you, you know, I wasn't expecting it to end that way. But um, just going into the draft, you know, I didn't really know. I had really good talks with Dan, uh, a lot of good talks with him. And so I kind of figured, like, maybe I might be going the Seattle route. And they drafted me. And so I was extremely happy about that. But um, after I got waived, just because I had to cut the teams to 12, um, I think I went maybe to – I want to say maybe two and a half, three weeks, just working out constantly, just keeping my head on straight and stuff and just, you know, praying and hoping that God opens another door. And then I think the Liberty called like maybe a week and a half before we are supposed to be out here and just had told me how high I was on their list and stuff like that. And so I was really excited about that, you know, and um, just making this decision. I think I made the right decision coming here. You know, I've really gelled with the team a lot um, very quickly and I'm just happy to be here. Um, coach Walt is an amazing coach. I love him. And so I'm just really excited to see the season and how it goes for us. And just another question, how are they using you on the court? Um, you were more or less a post player, a running the floor kind of player, but I think your game's bigger than that. Are they in, in, encouraging that and are you using it? Um, yes, uh, it's a little more out of my comfort zone from Texas. You know, I was kind of strictly like a four there, but um, here I'm allowed to shoot outside the paint. Um, I can shoot the mid-range. I can shoot the three, um, take people off the dribble. So kind of like opening my game up just as much as it was in high school, trying to kind of get back to that side of me. Um, but, yeah, I think I'm using all three levels right now. So, Thanks. Mm -hmm. Jeff Magliocetti. Hi, Joyner. Thank you. Joining us again, Jeff Maglicetti with Windsider, Nets Republic, and Empire Sports Media. So you came to the Liberty a little late, but do you think you've gotten your legs back? Do you think you've gotten used to the system? Do you think you're basically ready to go for Sunday for Saturday's game? Uh, yeah, so far. I mean, you know, coming into this, you know, everybody was trying to do as much working out as they could at home. And so I worked out a lot. Um, I was doing a lot of different stuff. Um, so I think I'm willing and ready. Uh, Saturday is going to be a big opportunity for us, you know, just to start off the season with a really good team. And so I'm really excited for that. And I think we're ready for the challenge. And Amanda Valley B mentioned that she wants this team to be known as fearless. How, do you, how can you and the rest of the rookie class contribute to that goal in the best way possible? I think just not backing down from anything. You know, we're going up against older women and more skilled and probably uh, just a lot smarter women because they played the game a little bit longer than us. But I just think not backing down. You know, basketball, like I said, is the same principles. You know, and we're a little bit younger, so we can use that to our advantage a little bit. And so um, just using that, honestly, in my opinion. But um, I think we're a really fearless group, and I don't think we're afraid of anything. So. Terrific. Thank you, Joyner. Thank you. Zachary Diamond. Hi, Joyner. My name is Zach Diamond. I'm from the blog Sports with Venus. As a rookie, I was wondering what it's been like playing for a team with six other rookies, and that is the youngest team in the league. Can you repeat that? I'm sorry. I was having a lot of background. Oh, oh yeah. Of course. So as a rookie, what is it like to play for a team with six other rookies 
and encompass the youngest team in the league? Um, I think it's getting easier. You know, the first couple of days were a little struggle for us, just trying to learn everything and then continuously, like, being consistent in our talking and stuff like that. But, I mean, it's a little easier because you're able to relate to these people on another level. Like, we're all kind of the same age. We're all in the same boat. And so it's easier to, like, kind of talk to them and come to them about things. But as well as our vets, I think they're very helpful for us um, throughout practice and even after practice, just talking to us in simple, like, situations and stuff. But um, I think it's fairly easy, you know, we're all kind of on the same level and we can all kind of communicate with each other. Um, and I think we kind of made history with all the rookies on our team and how young we are and how many we have. So that's good. Thank you, Joyner. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you. Christina. Hey, it's Christina from Girls Talk Sports TV. Uh, my question to you is, um, in terms of skill, what are some of your personal goals going into this season? You kind of cut out at the end. You said, what are my personal goals? Sorry. And what, what? I said, in terms of skill, um, what are some of your personal goals this season? Um, I think just trying to do everything that Walt asked of me, um, first and foremost. I don't think I'm putting, like, true, true expectations on myself just because it's my first year. But um, I've worked on my shot a lot in the off season, so I'm hoping to see that. Um, I hope hopefully it doesn't fluctuate like it was in college. I think I hopefully it'll be really consistent. But um, also just using my speed and my uh, ability, my athletic ability uh, to its advantage against other players. Thank you. Thank you. Lastly, Jackie Powell. Mm -hmm. Hey, Joyner again. So I saw that you and Jazz made a TikTok, and that looked like a lot of fun. Um, oh, oh, oh she, no, she's long, no longer back there. So oh, yes, yes. she is, there she is. Hello, Jazz. Um, can you tell me a little bit about some of the personalities on this team and sort of what you've learned about them now that you've all, you know, been together in real life? Um, well, to say the least, Jazz is not the best TikToker. It took us about 20 times to do that yesterday with six moves. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, no, I'm playing. <laughs> but um, I, you know, I think we get along very, very well. Like the first day, you know, it's kind of nerves and everybody's just trying to meet each other. But um, I knew Leona before coming here. Um, we met at the McDonald's game and then I met Jazz the first day when I got here because we're roommates. But um, it's been really easy to like get along with each other. We kind of hang out every single night almost. So, I mean, we cook and do different stuff. But um, I think we're about to get on the TikTok wave a little bit more. I'm excited to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joyner. Thank you. Thank you, Joyner. Um, and thank you all for joining us. We'll be sending out the link here shortly. Um,